So the NFL divisions don't make any sense. It's such a mess to distinguish between NFC and AFC divisions. And also geographically, it's just not the best solution. Welcome to this experiment where I'm using Draft Day Sports Pro Football 2022 to reorganize the divisions and take a look at how the NFL would change. A few months ago, Bengal posted a video on reorganizing the divisions. He also gave really, really cool names to the divisions. So since this is not possible to replicate in Madden, I'm following up on his idea uh, here in Draft Day Sports. Feel free to check out his video. It was really, really funny. And to be honest, these divisions make way more sense than the real ones. So let's take a look. On the West Coast, we have the NFC California with the Niners, Rams, Seahawks and the Chargers. Also NFC, former NFC North. The teams stay the same since it makes sense. But Bengal called it uninhabitable region. Don't argue with me. His division, his name, I'm just using that. Then we have the NFC AFC with only AFC teams. Also makes sense geographically to have the Bengals, Colts, Titans and Browns in one division. And the final NFC division is NFC Yeehaw with the Cowboys, Texans, Saints and Falcons. On the AFC, we have the AFC Desert with the Denver Broncos, Las Vegas Raiders, Kansas City Chiefs and Arizona Cardinals. So maybe Desert not the most suitable name, but definitely fair to name a division with the Raiders and Cardinals Desert. Then we have the AFC Florida with finally the Jaguars, Buccaneers and Dolphins in one division and the Carolina Panthers as an outlier. AFC Pizza with the Patriots, Giants, Jets and Eagles. Also here it makes sense to put both New York teams into one division. And the final division, AFC Division 4 with the Steelers, Bills, the Ravens and Washington. So here's the overview over all divisions before any game has been played. According to the current power ranking, the Niners are favorites to win the Super Bowl. Let's see how the NFL looks like with these new divisions. Regular season is over and the Green Bay Packers are the best team in the NFL. That was the only division that has not been changed at all. The Dallas Cowboys win the division with the Texans, Saints and Falcons. I would argue they're now playing in a better division than the former NFC East, but still able to win it. In the NFC AFC, the Cleveland Browns are the best team and in the NFC California, the Niners win. The new divisions have not been an advantage for the Los Angeles Chargers, who finished last in the NFC California. AFC Baltimore Ravens win this division, Buffalo Bills, also now in a better division, I would argue, not able to get into the playoffs. In the AFC Florida, Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, use that division to win the title. Dolphins actually also really good, the Jaguars and Panthers not so much. In the AFC Pizza, the Giants uh, are the best team, that comes to a surprise. And in the AFC Desert, the Chiefs only second place, Broncos in the first place and also Cardinals. Not really uh, the best solution for them to change to the AFC Desert. Also now the playoffs look different. Former NFC teams are now AFC teams and also the other way around. So let's go through the wild card and in the divisional Round we have Dolphins against the Broncos in the AFC, Chiefs against the Buccaneers in the AFC, uh, Texans, Packers in the NFC and Browns, Vikings in the NFC. Really cool games, especially Chiefs, Buccaneers. I would love to see that in a divisional game. Um, Packers win, uh, the Dolphins win, Bucks win and the Cleveland Browns. So in the first conference championship, 
of the new NFL divisions. We have on the NFC the champion Cleveland Browns and for the AFC Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So a former NFC team wins the AFC championship and a former AFC team wins the NFC championship. And the first Super Bowl winner, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So they don't really care about the new divisions. They are able to win it for the AFC. The first Super Bowl champion, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Lamar Jackson wins the MVP. Trey Lance Offensive Rookie of the Year, Caleb Farley Defensive Rookie of the Year and J.J. Watt Defensive Player of the Year. Tom Brady Player of MVP. Well, that sounds familiar. Some things are not changing at all. Quick look at the Pro Bowl. I mean, now the teams are totally messed up. Uh, would be cool to have a little bit of mix in the Pro Bowl rosters that NFC and AFC t uh, players are playing together um, and not going to go through all Pro Bowl rosters for all seasons. But for year one, I think it's fine to have a quick look. Let's see how the NFL evolves in the following years. Year two and after the Philadelphia Eagles picked an 89 overall center first overall, they're now only the second worst team in the NFL. Uh, the New York Jets, also AFC Pizza, were worse. Green Bay Packers win the division again. Cowboys uh, now second place as well as the Browns. Rams win the division in the NFC California with the Niners uh, having a big, big jump back. Buffalo still not really comfortable in this division. Dolphins really good in Florida. And in the desert, the Broncos win again. Playoff time. Let's see if we have another champion. Buccaneers still in it, win against the Dolphins. Now in the championship game, Buccaneers against the Commanders in the AFC. Buccaneers are in the Super Bowl again with a 7, 8 and 1 record. Wow. And the Tennessee Titans for the NFC. Sounds weird, but again, we have an NFC team for the AFC and an AFC team for the NFC in the Super Bowl. And this time the Tennessee Titans win it for the NFC. Year three and some things stay the same. Like the Broncos winning the AFC Desert and the Green Bay Packers winning the NFC Uninhabitable Region. Cowboys and Cleveland Browns win their division. Again, like in year one, uh, NFC California, the Seahawks now on top Rams last place. AFC Division 4, the Buffalo Bills finally comfortable to play the Washington Commanders, the Ravens and the Steelers twice a year. In the AFC Florida, the Jacksonville Jaguars used their fourth overall pick to draft a 96 overall running back. Maybe one reason why they won the division and are now on top of Florida. Not much change in the AFC Pizza Division. Eagles and Jets really, really, really bad. Patriots winning the division and Giants just half a game shy. Let's have one final look at the playoffs before simming 10 years. Uh, the Broncos lose against the Patriots. The Bills are now able to beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. Browns win against the Packers and Seahawks against the 49ers. So this time, no Tampa Bay Buccaneers, also no Tennessee Titans. We have uh, quite some new teams for the AFC. New England Patriots are in the Super Bowl and for the NFC, Seattle Seahawks. So finally, we have the same teams in the NFC and AFC. Like in reality, let's see if the Seahawks are now running the ball in case they only have one yard to go in the Super Bowl against the Patriots? Well, looks like it. At least they crushed them. Seattle Seahawks are the third Super Bowl winners. So let's sim 10 more seasons. After 13 seasons, Baker Mayfield leads the league in touchdowns and yards. So he was a key factor for the Cleveland Browns to be successful in the new divisions. But first... Let's have a look at the historical standings 
in the uninhabitable region, the Green Bay Packers are the team with the most wins, 129, uh, also made the Super Bowl once but lost it. And the Detroit Lions, actually third place in this division, uh, historically speaking, they were able to win the Super Bowl. So not bad for them. One championship for the Detroit Lions. So they really like the new divisions. Although the only thing that changed for them is the name. NFC Yeehaw also has one championship, the New Orleans Saints. So despite the Dallas Cowboys looking really good in the first few years, they were not really able to do anything. Zero or one playoff win actually. Uh, that's not really good. So also for them, the new divisions, uh, not the best option, but the New Orleans Saints won one Super Bowl and lost one as well. Cleveland Browns in the NFC AFC with the most wins overall, 155, 13 playoff appearances. That's actually the most uh, tied with the Denver Broncos. But two championships, so they are leading the new division league in terms of Super Bowls. Uh, they also lost two, but really great performance. 18 to 11 playoff record. The Cleveland Browns with Baker Mayfield. Well, they really like the new NFC AFC. Also, the Tennessee Titans in this division were able to win one Super Bowl. NFC California looks pretty balanced. Um, in the end, the 49ers win this division or at least have the most wins after 13 years, 10 playoff appearances, and also one championship. Also, the Seahawks and the Chargers were able to win the Super Bowl. The Rams made it once, but lost. So, NFC California still pretty strong, and also with the LA Chargers, a pretty cool addition to this division. Now, jumping over to the AFC Division 4. Baltimore Ravens with the most wins, by far the most playoff appearances. And they also got rewarded with one Super Bowl, lost one as well. And the AFC Florida, also pretty balanced, uh, except from the team who's actually not in Florida. So, well, maybe the Carolina Panthers did not want to play uh, in Florida, but the Dolphins winning... Uh, the most games uh, for Florida, but not the most playoff appearances. Dolphins and Buccaneers with one Super Bowl. AFC Pizza, New York Giants like their new division. Maybe their pizza as well. Most playoff appearances, most wins and the only Super Bowl in this division. And AFC Desert, as said, Denver Broncos. They won the division quite often. Uh, also... Uh, most wins by far in this division, most playoff appearances, one Super Bowl and 13 playoff wins. That should be uh, yeah, second placed in the NFL. So the Browns in the NFC AFC and the Broncos in the AFC Desert, the teams who would really like to play in new divisions. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the experiment. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned on new experiments and new rebuilds. Thank you everyone and see you next time. Bye bye.